Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Diablo 3. And on this episode, I am joined by a very good friend of mine, Dark Dragon. Yo. And uh, we're going to do another rift, guys. We're actually going to do a greater rift on this episode. Now, I know we've been doing these uh, quite a bit in the last few episodes. It is a pretty big part of the game, and it's something we've been waiting for, you know, since we started the game to try out. So kind of bear with us we're gonna do a few more of them but at some point we're gonna move on and do some more quests that we haven't shown you so stay tuned for that but on this one we're gonna be doing the greater rip and you're setting it at what the torment well, five right i'm thinking that since we just did a regular rift at torment five that we should do a torment six greater rift oh yeah i'm definitely all for it guys i like increasing the difficulty and the fact that i can actually survive now when we do these things is just an added plus so yeah go for it man do the do the six i don't know i think you're gonna die quite a bit and don't forget to pop your pets as soon as you come in yeah that's something i have to remember uh but yeah i'm gonna try to use my spells a little bit more often as well when we get to the big bad guys so if i if i forget you definitely uh, give me a reminder and we'll try it out here. oh am i frozen whoa what was that I liked it. I, I like the fact that it's, it's different, but wow, yeah, I got frozen there for a second, guys. Oh, okay, we're taking some damage here. Back up, back up. Jeez. Oh my god, look at this stairway, guys. Can you imagine if this was a dungeon that you were going through in real life or in, like, virtual reality? This is just a nightmare waiting to happen. This is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'm actually going to sit up here on the top and cast my spells down on this guy, the Greedy. So that, uh, oh no, he's still hitting me. He's still hitting me, and I don't have my pets up because I can't recast them just yet. So they're not doing any damage. There we go. I can actually attack from way up here. Yeah, take it, punk. Die. Die. I'm not doing any damage to him. He has so many hit points. Plague Jailer. He only has 1.2 billion. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, this it's not that much. Yeah, this is, uh, what do you think? Is this too hard for us? Nah. <laughs> Are you still alive? Oh, yeah. Oh, I died again? How did I die again? I'm up here. At the oh, it must be the poison. Because my pets are not taking any damage. Or, you know, doing any damage. That, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that Plague of Toads is an amazing spell. Which, I think, as much as I hate to admit it, I might actually have to switch to that. Because you just do so much damage with it that it, I... It's you know. not that it does a lot of damage, it's that it ticks off so quickly. Well, and it's, yeah. it's doing the damage because it's ticking off so quickly, you know? Like, I, I can see yeah. a, a huge difference. I use my spells, barely takes any damage on the enemy. You use your Plague of, of Toads, and within a second, that guy was dead. You know, so that, that's a huge difference. Get out of that little fire right there. I don't want to be in there when he explodes. Wow, a lot of knockback in here. Oh, I saw that coming. You were running in a circle at, right at the edge. Yep, yep. I was trying to avoid it, but, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. And I was looking for my loot. All my loot. Let's back up a little bit here. Punisher. Oh, look at the Punisher, guys. In fact, let's zoom in so you can get a nice little view of these guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful graphics. It really, you know, went all out on this game. Oh, yeah. And in case you're thinking this is too hectic for you to play, remember, you can always put it on a lower difficulty. Oh, we didn't want to open that? It was protecting us. <laughs> oh, okay, well. I don't it's okay. that in the future. But, yeah. Alright. In case you, uh, you know, you don't want all of these mobs killing you or, you know, attacking you. You can always play it on a lower level rift, and you won't get nearly as many mobs. They're going to die a lot quicker from you as well, so it's a little bit easier for you to fight. You know, it's really the game style you want to play. You get to create that game for yourself. They give you so many options. That yeah, you can take it easy and, and play one-handed because you're on such a low level. Or you can jack it up to where you're barely living every battle. It's however you want to play. Yeah, exactly. And I love games that will let you do that. And more and more games are letting you, the, the player, pick, you know, the outcome of the game. You know, Mass Effect is one of my favorite games, and it definitely allows you to do that. It allows you to 
to pick how your ending is going to be based off of the actions you make during the game. And I think more and more games are giving you not just that ability, but giving you a lot more functionality over, you know, the, the actual stats that you have in the game. And instead of just saying, oh, this is the character you're playing, a necromancer, and this is how you have to play him, you know, you get to actually decide, no, uh, even though I'm playing a necromancer, I want to play him more like a wizard. Mm -hmm. And you're able to do that. It may sound weird to be like, why are you playing a necromancer if you want to be a wizard? Well, why not, right? Like, why not give the person that option if that's, you know, ultimately what they want? So, I, I like that ability. What's that? It's all about the build. Yeah, exactly. And the armor that you get and the stats you put things into. And then, of course, you have so many different spells that you get to pick from that you really get to sit there and say... You know, maybe today I want to be damaged per second. Maybe tomorrow I want to be more of a support class, you know, depending on who you're with. And because you're able to do that, there's a lot more in depth that you can get into your character. It lasts longer for you, it keeps you interested longer because you're constantly learning more. With other MMOs out there, you'll learn a class and you'll be like, okay, you know, I got this class down. And yeah, there's. You'll, you'll perfect it over the course of months, maybe years, depending on how hard the game is, but you're going to know the gist of that class forwards and backwards pretty quickly. Whereas with this one, I mean, even you were mentioning before, you'll go into multiplayer and you'll see a way somebody's playing a character that you've never seen before, and then you'll ask me, like, well, what'd you put your points into? What's your build? And you'll get a whole new build out of that, you know, just from meeting other players in the game. And, you know, how many other games can you say that, you know, that actually happens? I mean, that's a pretty rare thing. So I definitely appreciate the fact that they're doing that. I mean, they took the time to give you that kind of game. It may sound like a fanboy talking about it, guys, because I love Diablo. I've always loved Diablo. I've, I've played it for many, many years. And, you know, Diablo 2 was one of my favorite games growing up. Uh, it's just one of those, it's addictive. <laughs> you know, these games, man. I know people really that still good. play Diablo 2. Yeah, it had a, a huge, huge following. It still does to this day. And Diablo 3 is a different beast. You know, it, it's a good game. It's a Diablo game for sure. It's in that, that universe, that, that style of gameplay. But it is a different game from Diablo 2. You know? So there's going to be people out there who are like, yeah, you know, I like it. But maybe not exactly as much as Diablo 2. There's going to be people who say, I like Diablo 2, but Diablo 3 blows that in the water. You know, but you have that option as a gamer to make up that decision for yourself. And, mm -hmm. you know, they both still work. I know a lot of video games when I was growing up, and they'd come out on the computer, and, like, there's one game that I remember the most. It's uh, Hodge and Hodge. It's a board game on the computer for Simon the Sorcerer. It's such an old game that they no longer work on the computer. It just does not work. It's made for an operating system that doesn't exist. It didn't get updated. Uh, you can't run it in like an emulated or, uh, you know, a, uh, formatted or whatever kind of uh, way so that the game will actually run on any Windows. The only way to get that game to work is to find a really old computer that's still capable of running like, you know, Windows 95 or something like that and putting it on that. Although, I think Simon the Sorcerer was a DOS game, but that one does work on, like, uh, the DOS box emulator that uh, I have on my computer, but there's a few of them out there, like the Hodge and Podge does not work on anything that I've ever tried. You don't have that oh, situation with Diablo. Oh, did he? Oh, that ice. That ice, man. Jeez. Let's kill these guys off real quick. All of them inside this doorway. No, get out of here. Let me out. Bro, Let me out. There we go. Were you trying to pull him? No, I was trying to hold him at the doorway. Oh, so you could, uh, that choke, that choke point, right? Yeah. Oh, man. They got me. They locked me in. They did that little wall of dirt so you can't go anywhere. It doesn't last for too long. No. Yeah, there's only a few of them. The evil eye, the greedy, is, uh, that's, he's taking some that's damage. That's also why I like, uh, Reign of Toads over the fire bomb that you're doing. Because, uh, it comes down on them, so walls mean nothing to me. Yeah, because if they're trapped or you're trapped, uh, then they're definitely going to take all that damage. I like the bouncy part of it because it, you know, ricochets and jumps from one enemy to the next, which in the early stages when enemies were dying in one shot because you guys were so uber, uh, it gave me the ability to feel like I was actually doing something because, yeah. uh, you know, it actually hit multiple enemies even though it wasn't really doing any damage. 
But yeah, I, I think ultimately, you know, that Reign of Toads is, is going to be the best uh, thing I could possibly go with uh, at some point here in the future. I probably should already move over to it. Massacre 16 monsters here. What's the highest massacre you ever got? Um, 1,200. 1,200 monsters killed at one little sitting? Uh, well, it's a kill streak. 1,200 monsters. Jeez, what were you in? Uh, um, it was on a, um... Are you dead, too? No, I, I'm down left. Oh, okay, hold on a sec. I'm still waiting for my res, and then I drop my remote, so give me a second, guys. Um, my remote with my mouse. There's a zone that used to be, like, insane. Because, uh, it's a dungeon, and it would have tons and tons and tons of the wretching mothers. So you would have one person run through the zone and aggro them all. And then they would start spitting out zombies. And then you have everybody else follow through. And they would just get insane amounts of creatures in the zone. So I guess they fixed that, that little... Well, you, like, see the, the creatures that were right through this gate? Yeah. How there's tons of them? That's how it was through the entire zone. Just creature after creature, shoulder to shoulder. And what was the best uh, fighter to use for that? I mean, are you, would you be using your witch doctor for the pets, or would you be using your barbarian, barbarian for the whirlwind thing that you got going on there? Yeah, because there would be so many creatures so close together that the tornadoes would just wreck everything. And I did like the way the tornadoes go, but man, your barbarians are so freaking fast that if you yeah. don't have your speed up, I mean, even with the speed, you're just not going to be able to keep up with those guys. <laughs> Let me go ahead and revive, and I'll back up a little bit here. Oh yeah, get out of here so I can cast my pets. Okay, let me, let me recoup here, I'll cast my guys. Now I do know that we're on a time limit, the faster you do this... The Rift Guardian has arrived! Shut up, where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, we got a conduit. Just run up right next to him. What does that mean? See the lightning? Are we doing that to him, or is he doing that to us? We're doing that to him. That's oh, what nice. a conduit does. That's what you just picked up. It's one of those relics, right? Uh, pylon. No, 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 I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, crap. Jeez. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to finish him off. He's almost dead. There we go. He dead. Yeah, he sure is now. Oh, two-hand sword, an ice blink, and some bracers. Nice, okay. I, an ice blink gem is actually really good for a wizard for their build because they can do mad freezing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and check these things out. Go ahead and link it. Let's check this one out as well. Wait for it. Link that, and we'll link the new gym. Let's see, your cold skill now applies chill effect on your chill effect. Now slows enemy movements for an addition. Well, that's definitely a better bracer, so we're definitely wearing that one. Healing wells replenish all resources and reduce all cooldowns by 48 seconds. It's not too bad. So what should I have uh, her go ahead and upgrade? The same one? Yeah, I would still upgrade your Bane of the Powerful. Okay, so at rank 6, I still have a 100% chance. Let's see, what about the next one? Rank 7, I still have a 100% chance. But you gotta remember, we're in a uh, harder... Rank 8, I still have 100 What about you? What was yours? Uh, I'm on rank 18 now. And I'm at 90%. Okay, so not 100% on that one. But yeah, we're definitely playing a harder area, so that's kind of why it increases the percentage. Remember that there are nobody left in here when you uh, you kill everybody, so or when you kill that guy. So I no reason to, to kind of go around and look around unless you've never been here before, uh, which is probably not the case. You've probably been here many, many times before, so no reason kind of why to roam around unless you just feel like it. Because again, this game allows you to do whatever it is you feel like doing at any given time. So let's run over here. I'm going to repair my armor really quick because I died well quite a bit in there. Hey, by the way, my little dynamite. Nice. 1.5 on the gold and 67 million for the experience. Not so much for the gold. We got more than that uh, on some of the other playthroughs, but the experience is a lot. That's, that's, geez. That's crazy on amount of experience. Now, let's go ahead and use our paragons. We got one for each one of our skills, so 
I'll do the core and all the other ones. I'm at 11. Yeah, I'm on 11 on the core and 10 on all the others. So we're getting there, guys. It's going a little slower, but not that bad, to be honest. Now, I'm going to put this stuff away that I don't need. Let's see. Let's put this in here. How many gems are there? Are you going to start getting doubles at some point or no? Um, there's a lot of gems. Oh, okay. Have you gotten all of them already or no? Yeah. Oh, you have? And this, uh, 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 this new weapon, should mm -hmm. I, should I just take it away, or should I just uh, dismantle it, right? I think there's 20 gems. Uh, the blinding sand, yeah, I would salvage it. Let me go ahead and get rid of all of this. I can't believe I got a regular, you know, just gray weapon. That's just... Legendary ceremonial knife. Um, let's look at that one real quick. It's the Sultan of uh, Blinding Sand, is what I'm looking at. That's not a ceremonial knife. No, I'm looking at the one I have versus the one that I just got. Oh, um, the Sultan of the Blinding Sand, you can actually give that to your enchantress. Oh, that would I? actually be a good one for her, because then she can blind everything, get life per hit, tons of vitality, and tons of intelligence. Oh, well, then we'll definitely hold on to that one, guys. Yeah. And I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Again, guys, uh, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, leave those comments down below, because I do want to find out what you guys think of the game. And on the next uh, few episodes, we might be trying something new here. We might be going through a few more rifts. I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing just yet, but at some point, we definitely will be shaking things up when we get everybody here and we go into some of the really, really hard places. So if you're looking forward to that, definitely leave those comments down below. Let me know that, and we'll get to it a little bit sooner. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.